Wait, this is a package from Taiwan. Ooh. Let's see what's inside. All right. Ooh, this is one of the magazines. Looks good. All right, so we'll see if this explodes on me or not. Got a Okay, so we'll set that there. <laughs> They're, uh, they're 50 tall paintballs, is what they are. So they're the same size as a Nerf dart, but they're just round. And then this is your no slide. Oh, it's so accurate. All right, let's chronograph this thing. Whoa, my God, 180, 160, 170. And that's, uh, that's pretty much out of air already, but. Um, got about 180 that drops on a 150. But I got about three mags worth out of 12 grams. That's about 30 to 40 shots. And I'm pretty sure you can adjust the pressure, but there you go. This is a smooth 50 cal paintballs. <laughs> Headshots only. That was extremely consistent, uh, even at the low power. All right, so uh, we're, I'm gonna aim for the center mass on an orange target with these rubber balls. That's really good. Um, better than the default N79. These are the smooth 50 cal paintballs. Same target, same distance. This is a brand new canister. Oh, I'm gonna pop it right here. There you go, just popped it. Okay, brand new canister. And check out this, uh, here's the uh, same target, same distance. Okay, so you can see the spread is really bad. But again, that's at max power. But so at highest power, you're getting close to 300 FPS. As you shoot through it though, it drops a lot. And so your accuracy increases as your velocity decreases because at that speeds, the lighter balls don't do as well. So that was a lot better. So again, it's just too much power for the small darts. But here is gonna be a historical, or a hysterical, these are the golf looking balls. Here's the accuracy on these guys. Yeah, that's, that's horrible. I don't think any group is gonna allow you to use those rubber balls because they're just way too, way too hard. Let's see, pros to it, it's sleek, it is so thin, it's actually pretty dang light. It hits like a truck um, with the right ammo and you can actually put a scar on it or you can actually take the barrel off entirely. With the right ammo, with the right barrel, it's pretty dang accurate for a secondary. I mean, it's probably more accurate than a flywheeler, generally speaking, and it's more accurate than like a default blaster just thrown together. Um, cons, that unique ammo is just not compatible with anything else. Firefly, and that's about it. And it uses, you know, consumables, CO2s, one per mag. That adds to the cost. You only get 10 shots, which is awfully small for something that's so powerful and high rate of fire. It's not ambidextrous. Other than that, I don't like the mag does not Grab and drop on um, any way spare to take it out. So other than the, the hard ammo and the um, it hits really hard and a little bit of the mag to know it, it's a cool thing. But let me know what you think. This is our first look at it. We just got it in literally a couple hours ago. Um, we've just been dinking around with it. It's a fun dink around blaster. It's a fun plinker. Like it's a, it's just fun. So let us know what you think. Um, we may stock these, but probably not. Um, they're just so niche. It's like too niche. You know, the N79 is a little bit less niche. This is just even more niche. So let us know what you think. Um, 